Hi, I'm Chris, N9CVR. I got a lot of components, and they're taking up a lot of room. Let's figure something out for it. So I found the coolest 3D print file ever, I swear. <laughs> Um, and actually, I'm going to link it down below, but it has been helping me sort all of this. And I got, you see boxes here, boxes on top. Uh, if you look down at my drill press, boxes on there, boxes all over the place. Uh, and they are kind of helping me to uh, sort that and make it uh, into a lot smaller of a space. So that's kind of what I want to show you. Um, yeah, just a really, really cool 3D print file. My printer has been insanely busy for the last almost week now printing just this, um, and I am loving it. So let me bring you around and show you. Look at these things. So they come in various different sizes here. I'm printing a four by four. Um, and you see, I already got four of them printed. Uh, tiny, tiny little trays, if you can, if you can tell. Um, they're a little hard to open, but uh, basically what I'm going to be doing is just a couple of dots of super glue to kind of tie this all together. And then I'll probably put it up on a, like a little block or something to make it a little easier to open. But they are absolutely the perfect size for resistors or really any other uh, electronic components. So uh, the black and white, I've been doing that for resistors. Um, let's bring you around here. See, I'm kind of halfway through. I got uh, all these I'm going through. They're not by any means full. Uh, this is probably not the best way to store resistors, but it is what it is. Uh, that's an empty one. Um, breadboard wires, eh, it's not really going to work for there. Uh, capacitors, capacitors, um, that's going to be perfect. And then battery holders, probably a little too big. But then you look at these big things here that I was just showing you, and a lot of this is going to be able to fit into little tiny component drawers like these. So, like I said, I'm going to put the... 3d print file down below but it is an amazing little print um these guys the boxes take oh i don't know two and a half hours to print something like that um these just the drawers uh, if you put it on fast mode it takes call it 15 20 minutes to print something like that um my printer likes to print um the bottoms of these boxes here let's pull one out again it likes to print the bottoms of these boxes relatively quick and then it sits there doing this thing real slow um, so what i do is i speed it up and then it goes a little faster Just put that away so anyway just a little tip i know that uh, a lot of people have uh, components that they are trying to manage and lots of them and boy I tell you these things are awesome um, all of this and I'm probably call it a little more than the tenth of the way through a spool of white so uh, it's pretty efficient on 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 filament as well so just a little cool video uh, thought I'd bring you in on what I'm doing the idea is these guys are probably going to extend all the way across like that um, eventually. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, it's a lot of printing. Um, but see, I'm getting done with resistors. I mentioned capacitors. I've got some potentiometers, these guys. Uh, these up here right by me are uh, little breadboard wires, chips, transistors. All of that can fit into these sweet little drawers so that's what i'm going to be doing for a while if you like this if you like more sort of hamish related stuff uh, feel free to hit the like button hit subscribe questions comments remarks things like that 
comment down below. Uh, oh yeah, if you do subscribe, make sure to hit the notification bell, otherwise you won't see what I post. And we'll see you on the next video. 73.